Hello, this is going to be a video on making a homemade type Yeti cooler, or at least my, my best attempt at it. Uh, you know these little, your traditional cheap coolers? I mean, in the heat, that ice just doesn't last. You got a few hours. I got a subterranean beer cooler here. That stays a little bit warmer than fridge temperature all day long. I can't pack that with me. So I went to Home Depot, picked up, this came in a four by eight sheet. I already broke it up a couple times. Um, it's R10, two inches thick. I'm gonna have to do things to this to make it structural and durable on the outside. And I have a couple ideas. So I'm gonna start chopping this up. What's up, Arlo? All right, watch out. Damn it. Okay, I'm kind of getting something roughed in here. I miffed up a couple of my cuts. So again, I can grind them out, probably because of that. Um, because I don't think I'm perfectly square to do the bottom. I'm gonna trace it. Um, a little organizational hack. Take all your drill bits, crap, and organize them in a cheap tackle box. Yeesh. It's not too bad. Oh, I'm liking it. It's actually quite rigid. Oh man. Um. Yeah, I might have to wrap this up tonight. I have to pause for a moment. Where do you want this at? Just right on the step is fine. I'm putting it together. Okay. Okay, I've got the lid squared up to the box pretty good. I got a couple marks right over here. I kind of sanded it to get it to fit. Um, so now I'm going to make a little piece. I'm going to put it on here so that it squeezes down into there and keeps it from turning sideways, and it will be even more insulation in there. Okay, got it pretty much painted in a little spot there that ripped off. Just gonna give it a couple more zaps there. I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and put on just one layer of epoxy. Later yesterday, I applied one coat of epoxy to this. I just put on gloves, just rubbed it on by hand, then just hung it up for it to drip. Um, if I could do it over again, I would have applied the epoxy first and then spray painted. I thought the epoxy was going to react with the foam, so I didn't. And it turns out the spray paint did. Here's an example of what the spray paint will do to the foam. I pitted it out right there. Um, here's a, an extra piece that I applied some epoxy to. It dried out and you can see that the uh, two-part epoxy didn't affect it at all. Okay, so I made this uh, wood ring to put on top here uh, for two reasons. One, people throwing stuff in here. I don't want to dent this cooler up too bad. And two, to keep it square in case it gets squashed. All right, also for the bottom, I mean, I didn't cut it that good, but I don't care because it's the bottom. 
Uh, it's going to be sitting on rocks and stuff a lot. So I made a, a board for the bottom here. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more flair to this. This is a sticker my buddy Matt got me here. Thank you, Matt. Alright, let's put that guy on there. Just because it is pretty damn cool. Okay, a little call out to Rockin' Rudy is in Missoula, Montana. Thanks for the awesome stickers. Okay, I've got uh, just one more item of business to do here. I just got some door seal stuff here. I gotta put a seal on this cooler. All right, here we are. Other than handles and latches, I'm gonna call this cooler pretty much done. Uh, let's take a look inside. I poured a, a layer of epoxy pretty thick on the bottom of this for uh, dropping stuff in there. Got the seal on here fits like a glove there's only one more thing to do here and that's to put some ice in it and give it a test okay it's about 10 o'clock it's gonna get up to 95 degrees today there we go let's see how she does okay it's been a while it's uh it's a little under 90 degrees put it in there about 10 o'clock <clears throat> it's about seven o'clock right a little bit before seven so no nine hours i haven't opened it up at all i had to move it over here out of the way the sides are pretty hot right now um it feels like the seal is sealed pretty good even without weight or latches on it but here it goes dun 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 Oh, I just I feel some cold air. Huh? Actually, I'm a little bit surprised. For the little bit of ice I put in there, it's uh it's held pretty good. I can only imagine if I had uh, some frozen jugs in there or more ice. To be honest, what I see right now, I have no doubt the ice would last uh, a three-day weekend in this thing. And uh, it is a hot day. Here's to you, Bill. I'm going to sit here for a moment and just sort of admire this for a second. Um, hopefully somebody else out there attempts it, finds a better way to do it, or makes one even cooler. Uh, Alright, over and out.